Hi everybody, follow up to yesterday's uh, ecstatic Christmas day. Um, I'm glad uh, it sparked a little interest with uh, certain members of the forum. Um, so for Solar Labs, um, we have uh, a uh, the video yesterday had a 20,000 volt uh, voltage applied between the two fixed spheres. The uh, travelling sphere uh, they're 50 millimeters in diameter. They're made from, well, they say 304 stainless steel, but it's not very magnetic. So I would have said it's probably getting a bit higher up the numbers to maybe towards 316, which is something I work with quite frequently. Um, the distance traveled on the original video was 150 millimeters. The current consumption, sorry, the wattage average was 3.75 watts. And, oh yeah, I don't mention that the spheres were 50 mil in diameter. Well, thanks to Smokey2, um, suggesting that <laughs> we broke the big guns out today. These are 6 inch diameter stainless steel spheres. Possibly the same material. Um, it's a guess, to be honest. They said 304. They measure 10 times the weight, uh, well over 10 times actually, at 261 grams. Um, the distance between the two fixed spheres is 300 millimetres or a foot. And yeah, I mentioned the fact that the spheres are 6 inches in diameter. Now the only difference we've had to do, we've had to up the ante. Uh, <laughs> we've strapped two of the units in series uh, to get an estimated 40 kV. Uh, it, you know, I've got nothing to measure this with. We can only go on what uh, the specification of the uh, deionizer or ionization units uh, they say in the uh, adverts. And I pan over to the uh, power supply. I've upped the voltage of touch to uh, push it as hard as we can. It's 15 volts and it's 710 milliamps by the looks of it. Um, but we tried at 20 kV and we got a little movement but it just couldn't push from end to end. Uh, we've made everything as... Uh, <laughs> we, we had a bit of a laugh earlier on because uh, things weren't working. Uh, it's a sheet of polycarb that sat on for an insulator and uh, one of my sons said, well Dad, you know, the, um, <laughs> the coating is anti-static and we'd left the coating on so I uh, wondered why things weren't working properly. Uh, we had to uh, uh, degas or sorry, uh, evacuate the uh, fluorescent tubes because they were lighting up beautifully. Um, it made it would have made a nice show, but uh, suddenly it was discharging across the uh, ionized gases in the tube. So uh, we, uh, but uh, it's incredible. Um, make a good toy this providing you uh, were insured against electrocution anyway um, I hope I've given you enough data maybe uh, uh, do a simulation or whatever and see uh, what the theoretical were uh, it takes some tuning though these spheres aren't uh, oh they look nice and round they're not <laughs> it took us about 20 minutes to get that middle one to just roll back and forth nicely and uh, I don't know what this uh, Seconds is uh, one second, second, two second, second, three second, second, four second, second, five second, second, about five seconds between. Anyway, gives us all a bit of thinking for the new year. All the very best. Thank you for watching.